what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I am going to show you how to install PKGs or transfer files over to your PS3 using a rewritable disk now keep in mind that this is just another alternative for you to use you can use FTP or you can just copy the files over to your USB stick or a portable hard drive you don't need to use this step all I'm doing is just giving you guys different options okay so for this to work you can use a rewritable audio disk but keep in mind that a audio disk is 700 megabytes so this would be good for small PKG files if you're going to transfer over large files let's say for instance game files you can use a dual layer DVD disk this will gives you 8.5 gigabyte keep in mind that you should have a dual layer DVD burner so this is 8.5 alright as I said before your disk need to be rewritable so it doesn't matter if it's audio disk or DVD disk it should be rewritable so that way you can use it like a USB um, thumb drive you can keep reusing the, the disk over and over again alright so as I said guys you don't have to do this method I'm just giving you guys alternative methods the, you can go ahead and keep using your USB um, drive or your portable DVD drive or you can continue using FTP to your PS3 okay if you have a broken um, PS3 drive then this won't make any sense to use all right okay so let's go ahead and get started so right here I have two files that I'll be installing my PK GI store and this folder game so I will install the PKG from the disk and I will transfer the game over from the disk showing you guys you will need this burner right here CD burner XP the link will be in the description it's really light on your computer maybe around 5 megabytes alright so what you need to do is put your blank disk in your computer so let me go ahead and put mine in the computer and this is my blank disk right here so it shows up on my computer so all you have to do now is just go over to your CD burner XP and you want to choose the top options that says um, data disk go, click it and then press OK once you get to this part all you have to do is just drag both the files that you want all your files or any one of your files just drag it and drop it right here that's all you have to do next you want to go to this part that says burn alright so now you're at this option leave the speed as it is 10x leave everything else as it is do not change these option make sure that you keep the top option here don't change anything okay go ahead now and click burn disk okay so once it's finished the disk will eject you can just press cancel on this and then you will see it says burning process successfully completed at speed 10x and the time was 1 minute 19 seconds depending on your computer the time might vary it okay so press ok then we can now close this option down and close down the burner press no because we don't want to save the files in the burner okay and then we can exit this alright now go ahead take your disk and let's head over to the PS3 alright so now that we are on the PS3 log into your user and go ahead and insert your disk in the PS3 so I will just go over here where it says video and the disk should pop up in this section 
okay so there it is so we have the disk inserted now go over to your hen ps3 if you're on hen or if you're on cfw it doesn't matter it works on all ps3 okay so let's go ahead enable our hen all right so as you all can see we now have hen enabled let's go to package manager install standard and we're going to look if we see the pkg so there is the pkg right there guys so that's how easy it is to install pkgs from a disk any pkg actually so let's go ahead and press x and it will install it okay perfect press circle now we have the the free shop right here so that's it if i go over here there is the disk there is the disk again there is the disk right there so that proves all right next thing we're gonna do is transfer the game from the disk over to the ps3 so we are going to go down to multi-man log into multi-man all right guys so now we're in multi-man what we're gonna do is press triangle right here on refresh go to file manager go up to the part where it says ps3 root and here all we have to do is go to this one right here dev underscore bd vd so double tap x and here you will see we have the pkg and the game file on the disk so press x on the game press circle and press copy you can also copy the pkg over to your ps3 if you want but go up to the top where it shows the two dots press x go down to dev underscore hdd0 double tap x go to the games folder double tap x press x circle and you want to paste the game file right there so that's it guys the file has been copied over to our ps3 hard drive so like i said before you can transfer over any files you want using a disk if you have a working disk drive by the way all right so we're going to close this down and we are going to go over to the part that says games here and here we have the game that we just copied over it says hdd under it so that shows that it's on the hard drive okay so we're just gonna press triangle and we're gonna press um, load all right so we're now back on the XMB go up and the game is right here all right so that's it guys that's how easy it is to um, transfer files over to your ps3 using a rewritable disk you can use ordinary disk if you want but a rewritable disk is a lot better to use because you can keep reusing it over and over and over again okay so what we're gonna do next i'm gonna show you how you can erase the data from your rewritable disk and reuse the disk again for in the future okay so now we're back on the pc so go ahead and insert the disk back in the pc i'm going to show you now how to erase the disk and keep reusing the same disk over and over again for in the future stuff okay so it's just like a usb you would say all right so go ahead and open up back the burner again but this time you want to choose the last option that says erase disk here it says allow you to remove all content from a rewritable medium so go ahead and choose ok it selected the disk right here go ahead and choose erase click yes ok so that's it guys the disk has been erased successfully press ok now we can exit the burner let's go over to the computer here and there you go it's completely empty again so now we can reuse this in the future if we want as i said you can do this with a dvd disc or audio disc but it should be rewritable 
Also, keep in mind that this is just an alternative method. You can always use the USB stick or portable hard drive or FTP your files over. Alright, so that's it guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share the video around, and also you guys can subscribe for more video to come. Thank you all for watching. See you guys next time.